From hitting the right key on a piano to gripping a baseball, Brewers pitcher Forrest Snow has a passion for using his hands, not only for striking people out, but for playing music as well. Yeah, I'll sit down every day, at least, and, and mess around with some sounds and try to try to come up with some melodies. You know. It started when Snow was six or seven years old, and his mom made him take piano lessons. He started playing classical music, but after seven years of Chopin and Beethoven, he moved to something a little more upbeat. I wanted a, a little bit of a change, so I switched teachers and uh, ended up going to a, a a more blues and jazz oriented class and uh, fell in love with that. The Seattle native took lessons for two days every week until baseball became his number one priority in high school. At the University of Washington, Snow spent more time standing on the mound than sitting in front of a piano until his parents reminded him of his forgotten pastime. I wasn't really playing at all and then mom and dad got me for my birthday, got a nice Korg 88 key. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. And uh, so I kind of picked it back up. Although being on the road for baseball keeps Snow's hands on the laces of a ball rather than the keys of an instrument, he found an alternative way to keep playing. He invested in a cutting edge portable keyboard. It's half keyboard, half synthesizer. You start in the middle and you go down and it gets a lot quieter. You go up and it changes, you know, some sort of like vibrato. The, how hard you press it, how hard you take your, your finger off, it, it all makes different sounds. Having the keyboard has not only been a fun hobby for the right-hander and some of his teammates, but has also helped Snow escape from his day job. There's a lot of pressures going on here, especially for me, new, new organization, a lot of new people around, new coaches. So I go back home at the end of the day, I kind of unwind, and that's one of the, the ways I do it. This 28-year-old has one person to thank for his musical prowess. My mom kept telling me, you're going to thank me one day. I thank her every day. In Phoenix, Sydney Cariel. Cronkite News.